with the goal of asking what aspects of wildlife communities are similar between cities and which are different, with everyone using the same kind of sampling protocol so that you can make really sound statistical comparisons. So the design is that we sample from an urban core area all the way to an ex-urban or rural area. We set up the cameras so that they're sampling for 30 days at a time in January, April, July, and October. So once the photos are posted to the Urban Wildlife Information Network database, then I can assign photos in different batches to different people. So we had to come up with our own research proposal and use the data that we had available to us. Um, we were separated into groups of like four or five and basically whoever was available to do the on-site field work would be the one that would go. With my group, they didn't live in Houston, so I was the one that had to do most of the field work. But it worked out in my favor because that was the first time that I got to do that type of research and it introduced me to like a whole new side that I could use my degree for. So what we've found out so far is that armadillos live in the heart of Houston. We've also seen coyotes at almost every site along the transect. Sightings wise, it's maybe one per 30 days um, inside the city and a little more frequently if you get outside Beltway 8. Bobcats, so far, we've only seen outside Beltway 8. We don't see those inside Beltway 8. All the students know we have tons of squirrels on campus. So there are rabbits in the city, opossums and raccoons, of course. So the, the point for me is getting students involved in a research project where they get to pick their own research question and it is feasible for them to do all aspects of the work, from the data collection to the data analysis to the formal communication and written and oral presentations. My project with Memorial Park consisted of, uh, we conducted a survey, a wildlife survey, uh, around a wildlife crossing structure that they're currently building. It's the Land Bridge and Prairie. And so that was what my project was focused on, is figuring out what type of wildlife is present in the area and how can conservation efforts um, be adjusted to mitigate any ecological problems that may be in the area. Some of the plans I have for the future are I want to go to grad school and get a PhD in evolutionary biology and ecology. So one of the uh, goals that I had for this project was for students who live in the city to have a chance to explore and see the animals that live in the city with them, to kind of open their eyes to more than the concrete and the people driving around, with the aim that students who might not have otherwise considered careers in ecology or conservation would learn enough about it to be interested.